Contact with machinery can cause serious injuries that can change the rest of your life. Augers, conveyors, and harvesting equipment can be sources of several different hazards. Unfortunately, contact with objects and equipment is a more common injury and presents a risk to all workers. While there are several different solutions available, take a stop, think, act approach when working around machinery. Stop. What am I about to do around this particular machine? Look for hazards associated with the equipment. For example, augers are potentially very dangerous. Becoming entangled or dragged into machines can lead to serious injuries, amputations, and sometimes death. When looking for mechanical hazards, think, does it move? Could I reach it? And will it hurt me? Watch out for loose clothing. A shirt tail, a glove, even a shoelace can catch on a piece of rotating equipment and lead to entanglement. Also, take a second to consider what may have changed since the last time you used this machine. Were the guards removed during maintenance and not reinstalled? Have the weather conditions changed? Has the ground become slippery with rain or ice? What could happen to you while working around the machine? Think, how are you going to do the work with this machine? Are you doing the work in the safest way or the quick way? Am I trying to get too many things done? Am I rushing to get the work finished? Am I distracted by an argument with a coworker or family member? Distractions can affect your ability to work safely. Consider if old habits are creeping into your decision. Just because you've seen someone else do the job, it may not be the safest or best way. Do you have the right equipment, tools, and training for that job? Every job can have its own challenges and related hazards. What do you have to keep you safe? Act. Make it safe. If you can't do the job safely, stop the work. This is especially important if you're uncomfortable with the machine or the task. If you need help, go and ask somebody for help. If guards are missing, make sure they're in place before you start the job. Make sure you follow the safe work procedures, and in some cases, this may include locking out the equipment to ensure it cannot start while you're working with it. Every job comes with some sort of hazard. There may even be several different types of hazards with one job. Even a moment of inattention can have tragic results. Take the time to stop, think, and then act. By following these three simple steps, you're on your way to creating a safer work environment.